Hello, welcome to Psychiatric News, live from the annual meeting in New York City. Today we have with us Dr. Andrea Spencer, Assistant in Psychiatry at Mass General Hospital. Hi, Hi Andrea. Nice to be here. Thank you for joining us today. You're so welcome. So yesterday, Andrea spoke at the session, Advances in Pediatric Bipolar Research, in which you spoke about glutaminergic dysregulation as it relates to pediatric bipolar disorder. So why is glutaminergic dysregulation important in pediatric bipolar disorder? Well, there's been a lot of interest in, um, in examining glutami glutamatergic or glutaminergic dysregulation in, in both adult and pediatric bipolar disorder. Um, it's the major excitatory neurotransmitter in the brain. And what's interesting for us as child and adolescent researchers is that it's involved in brain development, too. Um, and so uh, knowing that it's involved in normal, normal brain development, excitatory neurotransmission, and that mood disorders often start in childhood, too, um, it's very important that we not only be looking at uh, glutamate as uh, a potential um, uh, neurotransmitter associated with the pathophysiology of adult bipolar disorder, but also of pediatric bipolar disorder as well. So I, I'm noticing more glutaminergic dysregulation being talked about in psychiatry. Definitely. Um, one, for instance, is in depression. But this is my first time seeing it in bipolar. Mm -hmm. Now, during your presentation, you mm -hmm. presented a meta-analysis on various research that concerned glutaminergic dysregulation in bipolar. So what were the results from that? Yeah, we actually conducted a systematic review of um, glutamatergic metabolites in all child and adolescent psychiatric disorders. Um, a huge topic, and we were able to do that in all child and adolescent disorders because um, there actually are very, quite few studies. Um, but it allowed us to be able to compare our findings between bipolar disorder and depression um, and other uh, child and adolescent psychiatric disorders to see if there were differences. Um, and that's really important because um, there's so, many, so much overlap between all of these disorders. And one of the questions is, is there any specificity to the findings? Meaning, can you distinguish different psychopathology as it begins in childhood um, by uh, looking at uh, biomarkers such as potentially glutamate. Um, and the findings in pediatric bipolar disorder were um, kind of interesting. They were all over the place. Um, so some of the studies showed dysregulation. Some of the studies didn't find any dysregulation. Um, but a couple of the studies showed um, decreases in um, in glutamate and glutamine in the anterior cingulate cortex of uh, child and children and adolescents with bipolar disorder. Um, so that was interesting to us for several reasons. One, it was different than findings in emotional dysregulation. So kids that may not have met uh, criteria for bipolar disorder, but um, who were emotionally dysregulated. And there is one study done by our group that found um, increases in glutamatergic metabolites in the anterior cingulate cortex of those kids. So that difference was interesting, and also it was different than a meta-analysis conducted in adults with bipolar disorder showing, showing increases in glutamatergic metabolites. So we think that's fascinating. Um, it indicates you know, maybe there's developmental variability in uh, glutamatergic metabolites um, in pediatric bipolar disorder and just in general. Maybe it's an indicator of um, different types of glutamatergic regulation and bipolar disorder across the life cycle. But these are hypotheses we don't know. Um, and it's really interesting to see those findings starting to emerge from the literature. So where do you see your research going from here? It's a really great question. <laughs> I'm at the beginning of a hopefully long research career um, uh, and trying to um, really focus on child and adolescent psychopathology in general. Um, uh, our, my actually research interests um, involve uh, emotional dysregulation as well as um, uh, ADHD and post-traumatic stress disorder, and there's lots of overlap among all of those uh, disorders. But we really hope that this specific work will catalyze uh, interest in examining glutamatergic metabolites in, uh, in ch child and adolescent psychiatric pathology and in typically developing kids so that we have a sense of um, what's normal in you know, the youngest kids versus the oldest kids and at any age in between. So this is your first year in your position in Mass General, right? Exactly. Well, yeah. I, would I would just like to say congratulations. Thank you very much. And I expect to interview you every year <laughs> okay. at the annual meeting because you have some very interesting research. I it thank you so much, pleasure. Dr. Spencer. Thanks I'm so Babern Watts, and we'll have more with Psychiatric News Live from the annual meeting in New York City.